everybody welcome back to a north texas weather center forecast and today what we're going over is the big updates in the severe weather realm across north and central texas today more details on the threats to expect what has changed since yesterday and also who will see storms the latest timing everything's included in this forecast for you before we get too far into this video make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and like the video for more great forecasts let's get right into it though you can see that there's an enhanced risk for severe weather across dfw eastern north texas southwestern north texas and even in southern Oklahoma. Now, the main threat today is going to be damaging wind gusts up to about 70 miles per hour. Large to very large hail also may be possible, and as well as the potential for a few tornadoes. Most of those are going to be brief and weak, but I cannot rule out one that might be a little bit on the stronger side in a storm or two. So, we're going to have to watch this very closely today. Again, the tornado threat has been a little bit increased since yesterday. And here are my overall threat levels for today. You can see that the tornado threat for today is a 3 out of 10 on my scale. Now, what does that actually mean? Basically, means there's a 3 out of 10 chance, a 30% probability, and a 50 mile radius of a tornado in the dfw region now in the damaging wind realm we're really looking at a much larger risk you can see there's a 70 percent chance that we'll see a damaging wind report somewhere in dfw within again a 50 mile radius and then a large hail is on a little bit of the lower side it's gonna be about a four out of ten better hail threat will be out in western north texas for those near abilene they'll have a much better shot at some large hail later today here's a look at your timing for today so i'll have some isolated showers and maybe a weak storm during the early afternoon hours nothing too crazy severe weather's not expected with that by four o'clock you can start to see back out to the west we see a lot of this white space here and what does that really mean well that's going to indicate where the storms will likely develop between about four to eight o'clock tonight this is where the prime area is for storms where there's really nothing in this area it's just primarily just dry i mean we're not really looking at any sort of storm activity there by five o'clock we start to see some storms developing now the big thing is as of right now supercellular storms could actually develop between about four to seven o'clock before that line of storms develops and now if that occurs which you can see one right here if this sort of situation occurs very large hail and a tornado threat the most prominent out of that sort of storm so if this does happen it's a big if still but if it does happen we could see a tornado threat greatest out of a storm like this and you can also see down here even another little discrete supercell so if that happens they'll be very isolated but that is the potential for uh, all modes of severe weather primarily though being damaging winds as well as large hail by six to seven o'clock this becomes more of a pronounced line of storms you can see right around seven a line right here a little cell still out in front of it discrete now again if there's a, a discrete supercell a uh, not attached to that line of storms we will definitely see an increase of a tornado threat and a damaging wind threat and as well as a large hail threat with that sort of storm the line of storms that develops will be primarily damaging winds so most of us will not see anything more beyond just damaging winds but large hail may also be embedded with this line of storms and also a couple of embedded tornadoes with this within this line of storms by eight o'clock you can see that line of storms is moving through the metroplex again it's going to be not it's not nearly as pronounced on this future radar as it has been previously but it is still a very damaging line of storms you can see it even by the, the computer model here by nine o'clock those storms move through eastern dfw by eventually by 10 to 11 o'clock the line continues to push off to the east and then eventually keeneland and as well as austin will start to see storms right around 11 to 12 o'clock tonight eventually by one to two in the morning showers and storms will move out of our area we might see an isolated flash flooding risk just make sure you're aware of a potential for flash flooding also taking a look at that low level jet this is going to be important for that tornado development you can see actually the low level jet tonight will actually be fairly strong we're looking at 40 to 50 knots in some spots out in western north texas that is why there's a bit of an increase in that 20 threat for tonight so just make sure that you are aware make sure you have a way to receive alerts tonight we will go live here on our youtube page if there's any severe weather tonight which there likely will be again make sure to follow us on facebook for the latest you can check all of our socials down in the description below this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all dense repair and the dashner law firm